Okay guys, this is part two of the uh, snapper mower. Uh, I was talking about cleaning the uh, magneto coil and uh, how to take it apart and all that. But uh, all right, here's what what I've done since I uh, since part one. Part one, I pulled the magneto coil off here, pulled it off, and uh, I proceeded to clean it. Now, in the last video, I said, make sure these are shiny, and obviously they are. I cleaned the kind of where it would go against the flywheel, and here. Now, the easiest way I could tell you to do this, and I'm not kidding, it works perfectly. This is my trusty old uh, Dremel 300. It's variable speed with a sanding drum that down there and uh, hit all those surfaces with that including the podiums here now uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to check the spark plug and you're going to need your 3 8 wrench and your spark plug socket or yeah, 3 8 ratchet which obviously wasn't in there very good. And that one is fouled. That's all right. I have another. I'll clean this one up. Reused it in something else. Go over to my spark plug holder here, if I have one. All right, this one looks a little old and worn. Now, the gap on this one looks pretty thick, so I'll show you how to set that real quick. Notice the gap on this one isn't very thick. And this one is insanely thick. So, easiest way to set those, go to your concrete floor here, give it a good whack. And it can go one more. That should be more than good. So I'm just going to set that back in there. Well, actually, no, I won't. I'll take that and uh, rotate that cylinder a couple times. Make sure. Give the uh, stick your finger in there. Don't get it stuck which I've done that more than once. See, it's wet, and it does not have the smell of gasoline, which is not good. It means it swallowed some water. That's okay. Nothing to freak out about. But uh, this engine had compression in it when I first got it, and I'm not too worried about it. But what I'm going to do, just for preventative measures, Take my good old can of WD-40, spray it in there. That'll help uh, loosen it, you know, loosen the valves or anything if they're stuck. Give the threads a little bit of cleaning. And when you first start it up after doing this, it's going to smoke. So don't freak out. I've never had this mower running, so I don't know if it smokes, clicks, knocks, whatever. So we're just going to set the spark plug in there and let it set. And I want to do a part three so this won't uh, seem like it takes forever. And when I come back, I'll have it all put together and we'll uh, tear into that carburetor.